Hi everyone, this is Lisa Kim YouTube channel and I'm here again. Well, and today we're gonna talk about how to apply to Korean universities. Yeah. Yes, maybe he's Lisa Kim, not me. <laughs> so yeah, so today we're gonna talk about how to apply university in Korea. And he is kind of expert in that topic, I guess, since he came here. Yeah. Or an ex not exchange student, just a regular student. Yeah, regular student. So yeah, let's get started. Let's go. So let me ask you what we have to do first. Well, first mm -hmm. we should know three websites where we can check the deadlines of universities. Well, each university mm -hmm. usually do um, selection twice, admission oh. twice, like fall admission and spring, spring. admission. Yeah. So you should check when the application starts mm -hmm. when like when you can apply mm -hmm. usually it's about um if you but uh, apply for fall semester mm -hmm. then you do on april may oh it's quite early and if you're gonna apply for spring then you start at november december oh, yeah. yes uh, so that's why you should check so all the websites will be comments mm -hmm. right, on the description of mm -hmm. this video check the links mm -hmm. yeah so three websites yeah and each website has different universities for example oh yeah one website has like for example, for example there are Seoul National University and other universities another website has Yonsei University and other universities and third one is like um like more well, national universities mm. so that's that yeah. Mm. So you should check all three, like, on which website your university did that, that like accepts application. Mm. And I think the basic one, but like a level, like a step zero, will be what kind of university you want to apply to. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Like since like, I don't think because like anyway you will you have to choose from what university you want to study, right? So first you have to choose, uh, you have to search like, like what kind of university they have in Korea and then you search like uh, maybe like three or five like university you're thinking about and then, and then you can search on the three websites. Yeah, mm. that's it. Oh, so I have a question like if, um, is there any kind of hangye? Like uh, how many University we can apply. Okay, in one time, right? Yeah. Well, and for one semester. Yeah. Well, there is some universities which say you ha you can only apply for those for that university only. For example, Seoul National University says you can apply only for Seoul National University. If you apply at the same time to another university and they find out this, mm -hmm. then you will not be accepted to Seoul National University. Even if they decided that you are enrolled, oh. they will disqualify it. I mean, they will, yeah, cancel your yeah, application. Yeah, cancel your application. That's it. For one semester, just one application? It depends on the universities. Well, in my case, actually, there was the staff, like, so National University says that you cannot apply to another university, but, oh. I, did, but I did. I did for Korea University and so National University at the same time, and there wasn't any problem. Well, <laughs> 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 yeah, so you should check on those websites. Yeah. 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 They say is that you have you must not apply to another university, mm -hmm. or if you can, then it's okay. Mm -hmm. If not, then it's on your own risk. Oh, but and you... as I know, it's only Seoul National University did this. Time. Oh, really? No, no. Really the, is there any like um, you can apply like maximum like five universities? No, there is no. No. Yeah. So it's okay like if, if I apply like like ten universities. Exactly. Like exactly. That? You can apply for all universities. <laughs> Ah, but then only Seoul National University yeah. have that kind of restriction. Yeah, yeah. But, like you know, you can apply for both. But the thing is, like when you accept it, mm -hmm. you are accepted, and you enroll to Korea University first. Like you paid your tuition fee, mm -hmm. and then you accept it to Seoul National University, mm -hmm. and they find that if you enroll, yeah, uh -huh. 
then they will cancel. Ah. That was on guideline of Salvation University. Mm. And don't worry. Mm. But anyway, you did it. Yeah. I mean, I you. Did. Why what not? The it was quite it, risky then. Well, a little risky. <laughs> well, because I like to take a risk. So after you check the deadlines, what do you have to do? Well, once you check the deadlines, mm -hmm. then you should go to that university. Mm -hmm. Like if if they say like if will they accept you from April, mm -hmm. then um for example they say that they will start application from 15th of April. Mm -hmm. Then on first of April there are already guidelines for applying. Guideline. Yeah. So you should go to website of this university, check the guideline, mm -hmm. or you can check out the sites below. Uh -huh. They also upload the guidelines. Uh -huh. Take the guideline, read all the stuff. Mm -hmm. They usually ask like uh, four documents. Mm -hmm. um, well, there is application form. Mm -hmm. You do that stuff, mm -hmm. then your diploma, mm -hmm. like yeah, from your high school, high school. if you're going to undergraduate, and diploma yeah. from. Of undergraduate school, if you go to graduate school, mm -hmm. well, and you should translate um, to English if it's not on English. Oh, it should be or only or English, English or Korean, or Korean. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Or, or you should translate like apostille, apostille of this document if it's not on Korean or in English. Mm -hmm. Then the certificate of your birth. Uh, birth, birth certificate. Awesome. Yeah. Birth certificate also should be on English or in Korean okay. or should be translated to English. Well, and then last one, number four. Number four the last one. is the language certificate. Oh language certificate. Korean? English? Korean or English, yeah. We will talk about this later. Okay. Um, the most important things are this and recommendation letter is ah uh, recommendation maybe. from high school from teacher. high school teacher or from principal yeah that's it if there's a criteria for evaluation of applicant then what they are well um, usually as I know mm -hmm. they check four things mm -hmm. first is your recommendation letter uh, first is your motivational letter like why you apply for this university. Um, what kind of educational background do you have? Mm. Like you, you write a personal statement and motivational letter, like why you choose this faculty, why you choose this major, why you choose this university, and why Korea. Mm. All this stuff you should write. This stuff and your personal statement, like your educational background, all this mm. stuff. It's first one. Uh -huh. The main one is this. After this, it goes about your grades, your high school Great. grades or your undergraduate university grades. Mm. Uh, it should, as higher your GPA as better. many yeah as better well and that recommendation letter is very important because mm -hmm. yeah they check your recommendation letters mm -hmm. and the last but not least is the language certificate mm -hmm. and these four things mm -hmm. are very important yeah again first one motivation F first letter. one motivational letter okay second recommend ah recommendation letter uh -huh. and grades uh -huh. school grades and language language, language. Mm -hmm. these four things are Mostly, most flu mandatory thing that you have to prepare. Like has big influence. Ah. Uh, have big influence. Like kind of very important letters. Oh, uh, young young mm. That's it. Since you just told me, you just told told to my subscriber that we they also need kind of language certificate, right? Mm. Then. Do they have to know Korean or if they have to know Korean, then how much they have to be fluent in Korean? Mm. Okay, um, first let me fix me. Mm. Uh, as I say that the first thing is first thing is language, but sometimes it depends on the situation. Like, uh -huh. It's not it's not more about language, it's more about your social life. Uh -huh. Like when when they choose Korean students, I mean foreign For students. Them. They check how social you are since you're going to another country. Yes, like okay, okay. how you do your social life. Uh -huh. Like how you're active on this. Like if there are any volunteer uh, activities, volunteering activities, or you did some internship, or mm -hmm. you did some I don't know what any activities, all, extracurricular activities. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That stuff is very important. So well, if you have any certificates which which certify that you volunteered on some, some 
some, some, some place. <laughs> anyway, if you if you are volunteer or if you win some contest. 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 Yeah. If you want some contest, uh, apply all of this stuff. You should apply all I mean, you the should, like, You should upload everything that you can show off that how much you are capable to apply this university. To evaluate you. Right. Right. That's it. That, that's more important. But about language, I would say it's not so important. Mm -hmm. Like the thing is, you can choose if you know English, then they don't ask you to. They don't require to know Korean also. Because there are a lot of classes on English, mm. you can take the classes on English, so that's why you don't need to know Korean. Mm. Or if you know Korean very well, then nobody requires you to know English. But but if you know bad, mm. then that's good. Then it's you have more chances to get a scholarship or at least to enter this university. Mm. You know. So it means that you don't really need to have kind of certificate for Korean, like Korean proficiency test. Yeah. But if you have, then you'll be good or better than who doesn't have, you know? Yeah. So, so first, at least you have to know at least one language, like English or Korean. But if you know both, then you'll be perfect. Yeah. But if you don't know both, mm -hmm. then you can come to a to language courses first. Um, ah, yeah. you should take language courses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then go to university. Mm. That then language courses will be like one year. It depends on you, like how your level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, level. If you finish like only in three months, mm -hmm. that's it. Like you can enroll to university. Mm. Like, yeah. Before I thought like you guys that if you really want to come to Korea to study, that I thought you guys have to have like topic score score. I thought, but then. It's not right. Well, yeah, um, it depends on every country. Because eh? some countries, they, the government don't allow the visa oh. Oh. for those who has not any certificate of language. Mm. For example, for Uzbekistan, mm. the level is three. Mm. If you have topic three mm. level, then you can get a visa or two. Mm. But if you don't know language, they don't give because they think. Well, you will go to Korea and you will be the legal worker. Mm. <laughs> That's it. Mm. That's why it depends on country. You should check your uh, check embassy. That it means that depends on your country. Yeah, the oh. university could uh, could enroll you, uh -huh. but the thing is that you cannot go to Korea because of visa. Visa. Mm. Yeah, you should check embassy too. Oh. Yeah. Not only. Mm. All right. So actually, we were supposed to talk about like English, but then I I think we already talked about English too when when we talked about Korean. So if you have like, if you are like fluent in English, then if you have kind of certificate, then maybe like IELTS or TOEFL or SAT would be count yeah. only three. Yeah. So actually, we were talking about like how what we have to do first, you know. But then I want to know like details like. Whole process. Can you tell me the whole process from the first and the last? Oh well, yeah. Let's conclude. Mm -hmm. First, we check the website. Mm -hmm. Ah, first, as you said, we should determine which university we want. Mm -hmm. We decide, mm -hmm. and then after we check the website, the deadline of this university, download the guideline for that semester. Like if you're mm -hmm. applying for full, there will be guideline for full semester 2020. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you download that stuff, check all application forms, mm -hmm. you fill out your application forms, you you translate your documents such as diploma or um, certificate of birth mm -hmm. and then, well, there will be online application first. Mm -hmm. After online application, you send your documents, you post your documents to that university and then some universities have interview. No, but some <laughs> universities don't have it. Only some? Yeah, for example, Seoul National University, Korea University, Yonsei University. How do you think they have interview? Or they not? have. They don't have interview. They just really? check your documents. That, that's very really surprising for me too. Like when I was applying for Seoul Tech, oh. which is on 35th grade in Korea. Oh, yeah. They had interview. 
but the top universities they don't have interview. They don't care about the interview. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just don't care, care about interview. They don't, oh. They could evaluate you by your documents. Oh. That, that's so surprising. Then it means that you guys have to more put put like efforts more to prepare documents. Exactly. To show off how you're capable capable person, you know. Yeah, that's that. Well, 신기하다. 그러게요. 저도 어? 나 과기대 봤는데 이런 세대는 안 본다? 아니면 고려대는 안 본다? 이상하네. 예. Well, then, mm -hmm. well, you post your documents and you also pay for registration, like for checking your documents, mm -hmm. application fee. Mm -hmm. It's about seventy, one hundred dollar. Well, it depends on university. Mm -hmm. In case of so national university, since it's national, mm -hmm. it was. Check. Where it cheap was seventy dollars. Yeah, but about what about Korea? Private. Or, yeah, private universities they more than one hundred. Yeah, one hundred and fifty. Double, double. Yeah, well, yeah, you pay that stuff. You post your documents. Well, there will be process of evaluating your documents, and if they are interview, they will interview you, and that's it. Yeah, then they send your documents for visa. And can I ask this one like um, average like usually how long you have to wait to get the result that you are passed or not? It's about one month. Eight hours long. Yeah. After you prepared all the things. After you submit. Oh. Yes. Yeah. One yeah. day. And usually, like kind of top university, they don't care. They don't do interview. Yeah. 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 If there is interview, then after one month they will have interview, and after that, after interview, mm -hmm. there should be another one month. Mm -hmm. Then only that year. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, if you apply on April, uh -huh. you will get results on June. <gasps> yeah, that's it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Since there are so many applicants throughout the world. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is there kind of like competition rate like counting you? Like. For example, like how many applicants they have, and then how many people are selected. No, there is no quotes. Mm -hmm. They just check you if you're relevant student. Mm -hmm. They will accept. Mm -hmm. There is no like only ten students, only hundred students. Oh. There is no way. Yeah. Well, since you're paying them. Money. Yeah. Oh, and then kind of like tuition fee is like same with the Korean student. Um, yeah, tuition fee is the same as Korean students. Ah, uh, Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I, first, I, I also was, first time I saw like, there should be some difference. Yeah, I We, we pay like, less yeah. or we pay more. more yeah. But it was the same. Was same thing. Hmm. Then it's better to go to Seoul National University because they are like public and then their tuition fee is more cheap. Yeah. That's true. That's true. If you're smart, you can pay less. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so the last question is what about like how much is the tuition fee and then how like what about the scholarship and how we can get the scholarship? Well, okay, um, about tuition fee, the, as, as Lisa said, mm -hmm. the cheapest one is national universities. It's about um, $2,500. Mm -hmm. $5,000. Yeah. Uh, two to three thousand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's up to seven thousand for one semester. It, it, it's Yonsei University. Ah, it's not cheap. Yeah, Yonsei is very expensive. Oh ah, yeah, come on, Yeah. Um. Well, yeah. It's about this way. Usually, it's about three, four thousand dollars for one semester mm. per semester. Well, this is about tuition fee and how you can get the scholarship. Mm. Uh, Actually, there are so many scholarship programs mm. in Korea and mm. each university. Um, some universities they give you scholarship depending on your yeah your grades of this semester. Ah, oh, yeah, for example, GPA. Yeah, GPA is thirty percent, five fifty percent, up to hundred percent. Mm. Yeah, you can get hundred percent scholarship and study for free. Well, that's good. It depends on your grades. Mm -hmm. Uh, but when you just enter the university first time, they check your documents. Mm -hmm. Well, some universities check only your grade, your language grade. Oh, really? Yeah. So that's why 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 topic is important. Like mm -hmm. some universities, if you have topic three, mm -hmm. 
they will give you a discount about 40%. Mm. If you have four, they will give you like 80%. If it's five, they, they will give you 100%. Wow. But in my case, when I applied for Seoul Tech, mm. Kwagide, mm. I had six, mm. and I got full scholarship, mm. tuition fee, and I got free accommodation, mm. and got meal free. Wow! Yeah, for like one total semester. Yeah. perfect package. Yeah, yeah, it was the perfect package. Like, you don't need to spend any money, like, oh. you have... Uh, you don't need to pay for study, you don't need to pay for living, you don't need to pay for... Uh -huh. yeah. So that, that's why the language certificate is important. Oh. But it depends on universities. Mm -hmm. For example, Seoul National University, they, they don't give get. any, <laughs> they don't give any scholarships for your for your knowing language because okay. they think since you're coming to Korea, you should you have yeah. to know Korean. Right, that's language. true. To be honest, yes. Or English, like yeah. it, it, it's not so important. It doesn't it doesn't make you outstanding student. Yeah. That's how Seoul National University thinks. Mm -hmm. They give only top 5% of applicants. 5% only? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Among foreigners? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, in my case, I couldn't get because oh. I'm not a standing student. Oh. Yeah, but, but during the semester, there's so many scholarships that you can get. So, yeah. At first time, when you go to top universities, you don't need to care about a first scholarship. You can get scholarships soon. Uh -huh. Yeah. But you, you will have kind of opportunity once you arrive in Korea and then after kind of one semester or one kind of what is it, 중간고사, 기말고사 then you might have opportunity to get scholarship yeah, depends yeah. on your score, like GPA yeah. Is it correct? That's right And I should mention one uh, wonderful scholarship program yeah. It's KGSP or GKS Korean Government Scholarship Program uh, Or from... G GKS is Government uh, Global Korea Scholarship uh, and they pay for your tuition fee all four years. For four, four years? years? Yeah. Eight semesters they will pay for you. Mm -hmm. And they will pay living expenses about one million one. It's for eight, living fee? Yeah. Per month? Per month. <gasps> it's about eight hundred dollars. Yeah. Eight hundred dollars. Uh, yeah. Oh. Eight hundred eight hundred Dying the Yeah, 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 yeah. This is a really good scholarship. You should check your country if you have this scholarship in your country. It's on each country, I guess. Is it most of countries have that scholarship or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most of countries? Most of countries they have. And there are two ways. Well, if you're interested on this, you can leave the comments. Like, if you need more information about like KJSP, uh -huh. we could send maybe send a link or make another video about this. Wow, it's very good. Why? Oh, 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 about oh, 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 or if you have questions about what university is better, like how to choose university or the major, mm. then you also could live. But actually, like, um, it doesn't really mean that only Seoul, Univers uh, Seoul National University is the very the only greatest, one, right? Yeah, like yeah. The greatest university because it depends on major. So if exactly. like, this university is more famous for this major like that, so. Yeah, you don't really need to go Seoul National Seoul National University, only that country, uh, only that university. So, yeah, you also have to search and put more time to find what kind of university is better yeah. for you. Since it's decision for four years. Yes, for your life. So, mm. it was quite useful. Yeah, thank you for watching this video and please like and subscribe. Or if you think that this video is very really useful for someone else, please share this video. See you again. Thank you, Lisa King.